If you enjoy catching slab crappies and other species all year long, not just in open water, check out the Modern Ice Age and other great installments in the Angling Edge Instructional DVD Collection, available at anglingedge.com. James, I'm just going to start working my way down this way, punching holes, and you want to just check behind me? Yeah, I'm probably 45 to 50 foot. Let's see what depth we're in. Finding the mighty lake trout here. Get her tuned up. There we go, we got our guns ready. Let's see what depth we're in. About 50 foot of water, that's perfect. You know, right now what we're doing is we're hunting lake trout, probably one of the most premier sport fish to fish through the ice. We're in uh, sunset country, this is southern Ontario. It's phenomenal fishing opportunities for big lake trout. So we're gonna look at strategies on not only how to catch them, but one of the biggest things, first off, how to find them. Lake trout have a large geographic range within Canada and south to the northern tier of the United States from Washington State to New York State. Throughout the warm water months, lake trout inhabit deep, cold water. In winter, lake trout can be caught shallow with 20 to 40 feet being prime depth range. One thing that's important to remember, lake trout are very, very slow growing. 15 pound fish may be in excess of 30 years in age. In the area we're fishing in southern Ontario, almost all lake trout are treated as a trophy sport fish and are released. He's just burping air, swells him and make major vertical movements quickly without uh, experiencing the barrel trauma, like you'll see with walleyes that come out of deep water, etc. Here he comes. Yep. Beauty James, yeah, this is a good one. Is that a gorgeous fish? Look at that. Is that beautiful? Aren't they? Boy, these are guys here. These guys have been eating really good. We're yeah. here, and it's, uh, for what, the ice is going to go out probably in the next month or so. But look at that. Just gorgeous. We have to get her back in the water pretty quickly. Got to take care of these fish here. There yeah, these go. fish are so old, and you got to be really, really careful with these guys. I mean, every one of these is a really precious resource. It takes a long time to grow them, and you don't want to don't keep them. Good job. <laughs> I can that use a couple turn. more on that. <laughs> yeah. That's my first lake trout for the year. And hopefully it's not the last. <laughs> we have to cut more holes. This area uh, we're set up on right now, it's just an island out in the middle of a, of a bay that's got deep water in it. And you can see Jim right now is like almost not within yelling distance. So. The idea here is we're just drilling holes up and down this thing and we're just actively searching for trout. They could be here, there, anywhere. So the idea is just to drill a lot of holes and hopefully you'll contact the active fish. That's the name of the game. That baby really cuts. It's a lot easier rather than cutting one hole than another hole. I cut a whole series of holes pretty quickly. And then you just fish through them. You know, when you're fishing, with, usually you're coming up here with a, a group of people and uh, you can really systematically cover the ice pretty quickly. Under the ice, lake trout are really free to roam wherever they want to, vertically and horizontally. Locationally, we generally focus on areas that create natural funnels. Any shark dropping inside corner is a prime location to concentrate bait, in turn, large predators like lake trout. 25 to 50 foot saddle areas between islands or sunken humps again focus fish movement. Another structural feature to look for are bottlenecks or any narrows between lake sections. Generally, we'll only spend 20 to 30 minutes in a given area. If you don't get bit, move to a new location. If you are close to the fish, the power auger seems to literally attract trout. It's common to catch fish on the first couple of drops in a new location. Well, as you can see, we drilled a lot of holes. I just got done drilling out this whole area. And when you're trout fishing, you do drill all day long. So it's important to have a good auger 
I've got the Strike Mask here. It's got a solo engine on it and a 10 inch jet. And uh, with this thing, I can just drill tons of holes really easy. It's not too heavy, but a big auger is essential. This thing has the power to cut quickly and you can get a lot of holes drilled out fast. So this is a big tool in the game of lake trout fishing. A lot of times, wait, come on. So a lot of times what I do is you pull it up actually away from them a little bit. There, oh man, whoa, whoa. He had a buddy, he's got a buddy down there with him. He came up off the bottom. Whoa. Boy, they get really, when you first set the hook on them, they really can get wacky in there for a little bit. Whoa. Look at that. That boy is smoking. A wide variety of lures can be used for Lakers through the ice. Jigging spools like Lure Jensen's crippled herring, large jigging wraps, or PMC jig heads dressed with soft baits like Trigger X minnows or tubes will all work. We fish these baits on a medium heavy frayable ice rod teamed with a 2500 Shimano Stratic reel. This is spooled with Suffolk's 10 pound Tessa ice break. Oh, there's one right there. Oh. Got him. You looked up there again? Oh, boy. About 10 feet off the bottom. Unreal. This is a serious fish. <laughs> you might have because one. Because what you can tell when he takes off, he just keeps on going. You see what I mean? Look at he just goes. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah I would There's no fish in that. To, in ice fishing games and fresh water, and I know of it, that puts up a fight no, like they this. They're, just, they're designed to live in cold water environments. They thrive here. And they're just powerhouses when they're hooked up. Ooh. Jeremy, this is, a, this is a real yeah. one here. Look at that guy. Oh, <laughs> look at there that. You go. Now the size is getting quite a bit bigger, bigger. James. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Look at that sucker. That's a beauty. That's what we come up here for, you know, and you can expect when they're biting. It's not like this is a one fish a day deal. You can actually catch numbers of giant fish to the ice, and that's a good program. Boy, is that beautiful. That's the biggest lake trout I've caught in a, a few moons. And if you enjoy catching slab crappies and other species all year long, not just in open water, check out the Modern Ice Age and other great installments in the Angling Edge Instructional DVD Collection, available at anglingedge.com.